Yo, 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 this your boy Gold Rush, a.k.a. Raiden Rush, the motherfucking sauce keeper. Y'all already know, man, I'm in the building. Source sauce. Y'all already know who I'm rocking with, Dumb Eye TV, man. Source sauce. Chopping knees. What it is, what it ain't, I'm going to let y'all know what I really think. This your boy Gold Mouth Short, and I'm going to get straight down to business. I need everybody to go smash that like button, man. Smash that subscribe button, man. And comment on the channel. And if you really mess with me, man, go ahead and donate a dollar to my cash app, uh, Mag Promo, M A G P R O M O. And I'm going to keep bringing you some quality content. All I do is bring you the latest and the greatest news and information. You know, I got to put the disclaimer on it because everything for education and purposes only and entertainment. But I ain't going to hold you up too much longer. Let me go ahead and play y'all some new content. First question, how you in trick that it linked up in the beginning? Uh, I linked up with Trick through um Trick Daddy's dad, Pops, Charles Young. Um I actually met him at Club Zeno's, Ben Zeno's Club in South Beach, his first location. And um I didn't even know I just wanted to get a show there that night. The janitor walked up, club wasn't even open, and he was like uh, the club from the open, the owner, the manager going to be in a couple hours, by the way, he's Trick Daddy's dad. So I waited. I ain't believe him. And even when Trick Dad walked up, I still ain't believe it was him. But I walked in, and it it, it, it ended up being Trick Daddy's dad. And um, that's where the relationship started and eventually ended up leading uh, into me meeting Trick and ended up signing with Dalton Riders as an exclusive artist and producer. Sheesh, man, y'all heard that, man. Let me play y'all a little bit more of the clip, man. And y'all getting them comments to let me know what y'all think about it. Just chill. I did a song, uh, Bet That Come About, you know what I'm saying? What that what that what that process was about, how the video and shit came out, you know, what your experience was with the uh with that video. As far as Bet That, how that came about, um, I ended up selling a track to Trick called 411. And um, it caught the attention of Mike Karen at Atlantic Records. He started sending me beat CDs, and the bet that beat was on one of the CDs. I ended up recording a whole so a whole solo song to it, three verses on it, just me. I wrote the hook. Trick heard it, loved it, ended up going to Atlanta and cutting a record to it, made it his record, and they kept eight bars of my verse on it. And then Atlantic Records shot the video, put the shit out. Once bet that came out, I really kind of sold Mike Karen at, at Atlantic Records and he was like sold on me. Like I kind of proved myself to him at that point. So I ended up getting the placement on Ply's first, al first album, uh, produced on my dick. Then I ended up getting the placement on DJ uh, Ace Hood's album, going through DJ Khaled. Me and him used to deal with each other when he was working at 99 9 Jam. So that kind of opened the door for me for that. Then I got a five beat production deal with Atlantic Records. Um, I just kind of covered who I worked with afterwards, but before Trick, I didn't really work with nobody too big before before Trick. Um, I ended up getting to meet Scott Storch. I went to the Hit Factory, met Scott Storch. He gave me a beat, and we kind of chopped it up. I had met him through a mutual friend called Drew Boy from Chicago that was um, affiliated with the Global Gangsters. And, um, yeah, I ended up working with Scott Storch, but pretty much I had my own label, so I was working with my label, my artist, before Trick. Yeah, me and Deslock, Piccolo, we just dropped the whole joint album called Gold Lock. I produced every beat on it, seven songs, me and him rapping and singing on every song. We created the whole album in two sessions um, and whipped up all the beats on the spot together. You know what I mean? I pretty much produced them, and he kind of like was beatboxing and shit. But that's how we came about that. That song with me and him and JT Money is just one of the songs off of the album. It's called In The Dunk, and the video's on Raiden Rush YouTube. We got more videos coming out, too. Jeez, man, we heard enough on this one here, man. Everybody, make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button on your way out. Peace and mind.